Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode five of Fargo. This episode is called The House of Special Purpose. I'm not Googling it because I'm not too sure if it's going to give me spoilers if I go and try to find out what that means. So you expert people in the comment section, by all means, please do um, put down any references that are relevant to that. I'm really looking forward to this episode. I've really enjoyed the last two. But last episode was really, really good. Really, really good. I liked the kind of the crossing over of the characters. We've got our characters starting to meet each other. We had Gloria interviewing Ray for the first time. We also had her meeting the deceased Maurice Le Fay. We had Gloria and Nikki passing outside um, that building and Winnie Lopez now looks like she's going to be integral to solving this bringing the two cases together and you know that brilliant final look of Gloria's where she was understanding you know she, she was picking up what Winnie Lopez was putting down and it was absolutely fantastic obviously we've got Emmett Stussy who is now kind of falling under the spell of the embargo which is, has been interesting to see him kind of his eyes twinkling at the idea of becoming a billionaire and that overcoming his instinctive kind of revulsion of VM Varga as a character. So that's going to be really fascinating to watch play out, how that relationship develops and no doubt explodes by the end of the season. I think that's kind of all I want to touch on for now. So without further ado, Let's have at it. Oh Lord, it's hard to be humble, but I'm doing the best that I can. This is the most appropriate song in the world. What's in the folder? Oh. Your eyes only. But I guess there are. Is she gonna open it? Help me out now, come on. I get better looking each day. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no. I thought, unless you're attached to a more classic bed narrative. Oh my god. I'm glad we're doing this, babe. Taking control. This whole time we've been playing to draw. It's time we start playing to win. I know, but blackmail. Oh shit. Huh? Where'd you go? Oh my god, she's completely different in that wig. That's so crazy. I. Jesus. I just love you so much. No, for Pete's sake, I'm wearing a hooker wig. Just I'm sorry. <laughs> Pete, you're not. Okay. Now go. Babe, you're my everything. I want we should spend the rest of our lives together. You gotta ask. Right. Nikki Swanko. Will you marry me? Yes, Raymond Stussy, I will marry you. <laughs> they're so cute. I mean, they're completely fucked up, but that aside, they're cute. <laughs> now let's make a sex tape. <laughs> what a place to propose! Oh my god. You are in so much trouble and you don't even know. Hey, hon. Stella? What is it? I'll suck you! I'll suck you! Oh, 
No! Now, hold on! Don't make a scene, Daddy. Yeah, Mr. Sussy. I saw the tape. It's disgusting. I didn't... I wouldn't! I swear to Christ! Stella! Ma says to tell you don't call. Stella! <laughs> Oh, that's bang out of order there. We didn't do that. Like, I'm all for hang on. Pause. I'm all for, I get where they've gone, where they're like getting each other for the stuff they are doing. They're kind of bringing justice to each other for these misdeeds of their past and present. But he didn't do this. They've just made this up. I think this is the first time I'm Team Emmett. Because it looks like he has been a faithful guy. He really loves his wife. And they are getting rid of his whole family. I think Emmett is going to be a lot more dangerous from this point on. He's just... His whole family is just gone, guys. <sighs> Play. Yeah, look at that. He's fucking furious. He's going to kill some people. <laughs> How hard would you be freaking out right now? I would be fucking up here. It's actually giving me palpitations just thinking about that. Can you imagine someone who looks exactly like I'm gonna have to pause it again? Pause. Someone who looks exactly like you, apart from a paunch. Cause even that sounds fake, you said to your wife, but it's my twin. I have to say in this situation I think my wife would believe me, but Jesus, play. You don't mess with someone's... No, that's wrong. What the goddamn hell? Oh, come on! You have... a fat wife. Wow, what a prick. Excuse me? Which part of what I just said is giving you trouble? She's not even this fat. Is my office. A fat woman is inherently untrustworthy as she is a sensualist who sees no real difference between a pastrami sandwich and a dick in the mouth. That's... that's no coffee. What? Language. The female Jew is especially vulnerable to the zaftic seduction of the forbidden being part animal. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? What is he doing? <sighs> Do you know what a chicken is? What? A chicken. Do you know what a chicken is? A chicken is an egg's way of making another egg. You see, it's all a matter of perspective. So let's start again. This is not your office, just as your wife would not be your wife if I came to her in the night with a platter of cold cuts. Oh, shit. This guy is off on another fucking planet. Have a drink, you'll feel better. From what? Fuck off! Are you out of your mind? Nice drink, refreshing. Are you kidding me? They're gonna make him drink from it? From the dick mug? You prick. No, 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 no. The whole thing. Oh, sigh. Tells me you spoke to the police yesterday. You can ask him. She came to me. Pause. You know what this scene makes me feel like? 
This is like a handmaid's tale from men. I have not felt this disgusted since watching The Handmaid's Tale. I am appalled. I cannot fucking believe... This guy needs to die. I need to see VM Varga. I'm going to have to start fantasising about very detailed... Detailed, disgusting, lengthy, torturous death scenes for him. Gosh dang it! I am so mad right now! I think maybe a noose attached to the back of a car which then drives at 10 miles an hour until he dies. That's disgusting. Just 10 miles an hour. So if he falls on the floor, he's just getting scratched and scratched and scratched really slowly. He didn't just all fall apart in the rush. That's the, that is the kind of death I'm imagining for this man now. That tells you my level of rage. That is bullying. I hate bullying. And that's just, dis he rubbed his dick around the cup. He made a dick mug. And then he made him drink from it. Under threat of death. And he would not win a fight against Sai. Like, Sai wouldn't be doing this if, he, if there weren't henchmen in either one of his shoulders with guns. Coward. That's what you are, VM Varga. Coward. Play. Not about anything, but there was a... One of our cars was some kind of accident. A fender bender. So, you know, unconnected to this completely. You may have, during the course of the day, a strong impulse to act. It's perfectly normal, a man of your station being forced to play the cuckold. Remember, it's all a matter of perspective. Wow. What's happening here? You and I are partners now. Contracts have been signed by the Major Domo himself. <sighs> Do you understand? Yeah. So you can't play this one at this table. You've got to take it away and have a think. Yuri will show you to your new office. Don't forget your mug. Oh, God. I'd smash it across his face. Oh, man, they broke Sai with that dick mug. They really did. Mrs. Goldfarb. You must be Sai. I am so glad we finally get to meet. Oh, I love her. I've been... And I must admit, I'm curious. Uh, of course, I, I just, uh, <laughs> I, I had an upsetting experience this morning. <laughs> My preference would be to acquire the entire company's Dusty Lots Limited. Do it! Oh my god, dream come true. You don't want a gold farm for an enemy. I'm sure that's true. Sal, get out, Sai. There's... Ah... Uh, Shit. At the right price. Mm. But we should talk more. Call my private line. The office isn't safe. I mean, uh, the lines are down. Can he look any more suspicious? I don't blame you though, Sai. Sell up, get out. It's not gonna go down like that, is it? Ah, see? What an idiot. Of course he's being followed. Did you sign partnership papers? Did you make Varga a partner in our firm? I don't think it was possible. The evil of this man. My brother. No, oh, enough about your stupid brother! We're in trouble here! Enemies are at the gates! Inside the gates! Fornicating with our cookware! What is the point of you? You're supposed to be a fixer. But nothing's fixed. Everything's broken. By you! They sent my wife a sex tape. I'm not some kind of weakling that can't control us. 25 years. <clears throat> and never once did I look at a woman sideways. You've got to fix this. Whatever it takes. 
shackles off and throw away the key. Shit. Oh, I got chills. Oh, fuck. I'm saying Maurice, the fellow with his head caved in, it wasn't a random robbery. He was hired by another fellow to rob somebody. His brother. Maurice's brother? Oh, Jesus. Maurice makes a wrong choice. Drives to the wrong town, takes the name out of the phone book. Also, Stessie. And you know what happens next. Makes more sense than the other, at least. He's still not gonna like it. What do you think? Bigger size. Don't you think be more comfortable? Yeah. Look at the state you of have it. something in a 44. We'll try that. It's a lot of money. A hundred grand. Are you sure? I mean, we could ask for less. Are we worth less? Self-made man, my ass. That business is your business. That mansion is your mansion on account and the stamps. What he used to build this empire. You got me. Congratulations. You're officially the <gasps> stupidest man alive. Who is this? It's Menachem Begin. Who do you think he is? You made a sex tape and gave it straight to the wife. No, what? You left it on the stoop. We're not going to stop till we get what's ours. We should meet you and Pete. Uh, Hammer up and into this. So I don't, don't. You pay. Asshole. She watched the tape. Oh, no. We were asking 100 grand to keep her from knowing. Now I'm saying 200 grand to tell her the other truth. The price of convincing her of the other truth is 200 grand. Stussy lot 350, one hour. Is he gonna try and kill her? Because I think she'll kill him. Oh, my sweet, so much. I gotta do a girl thing. I'll see you at home later. Shit. Oh, no. I really need Nikki not to die right now.